Uh, without further ado, please uh, welcome Anjali uh, from Theric. Right. Uh, thanks, Porter, for having me here. I'm Anjali George. I'm the head of marketing and ecosystem growth at Theric AI. At Theric, we're building a platform for composable and collaborative AI. So I'll start from the beginning, right? So it's undeniable that AI is having a massive impact across industries. ARK Invest is predicting that it's going to 3x global G uh, GDP in the next few years. And token incentives and models are actually going to drive a lot of this adoption and how AI gets developed over the next few years. Our thesis is that, so our founders started out at Web2 companies for the last few decades building AI solutions at Google Cloud, Dell, but realized that these like monolithic guardrails were no longer sufficient to build AI that was useful for the community and actually beneficial for all. So we made this pivot into Web3 over the last few years, having built a few solutions for protocols that I will talk about in the future in, in a few minutes. So we're not the only ones that believe that AI agents are going to be highly impactful. Folks like Bill Gates, Andrew Ng, the co-founder of Google Brain, um, all talk about multi-agent collaboratives with multimodal impact. And that's really how we're seeing this kind of take place and how this industry is now evolving. And that's where we've taken our bet. Um, so this is where what we're doing for Filecoin sort of comes into play. Data has so far just been stored and not been utilized. It's been not been maximized to its potential. And we believe that AI agents are going to be the way that we can untap this data reservoir to identify and leverage vast data sources and that are underused in many sectors. So how can AI agents now sift through these data sets, make analysis of patterns, recognize like and trends that are not immediately recognizable to humans. And that's the stuff that we're seeing. We've launched Council Analytics, which is a high performance data analytics solution that can untap vast amounts of data. And so it's helping people analyze large segments. So Space and Time, which is one of our clients right now, we're able to analyze on-chain data to understand trends, to build graphs and build data dashboards to understand what's happening within like different marketplaces. So this is going to help unlock innovation because people are now able to make decisions much faster based on insights that they're gathering from this data sets that were before unaccessible. So I'm not going to bore you with the entire demo, but this is how it works. We've got an AI agent workspace, and um, this is our UI at the moment. We've got a few different agent collectives that are in the works. So these are multiple agents that are talking to each other. So sentiment analysis, documentation, um, data analysis. So all of these trends come together to make a decision. So for the Filecoin demo right now, we've got GitHub documentation as well as like website resources that the agent is now pulling from. So understand why should somebody build on Filecoin? Um, this gives you all of that information. It's analyzing all of that content that's available, linking you to the resources, where you can now that follow those links to understand where that data is being stored. You can also ask it questions like, give me the steps to writing out a car file and packaging it. And so it'll go through the GitHub repos, and these are live updated documentation. So whatever is being updated online is available and accessible via these agents. So now you no longer have to sift through all of this information, and you can find exactly what you're looking for within this data source. So why is this important, right? Now we're talking to Porter and the rest of the Filecoin team on how we can bring teams like Muckrock and OpenPanda accessible via these agents. And the big unlock here is because it's through our UI, you can now go in and say, hey, I'm doing research on cancer and I want to figure out how, what the most recent innovation and studies are and OpenPanda might have some of that data and you can now access that. Or, what was like trends that happened historically during the Cold War and like what actually happened during that time? And you can use Muckrock's data. And the agent is able to sort of go into this ecosystem and access all of this data dynamically without you having to point it to a data source. So this is just how our structure currently works. You have an agent consumer that comes in with a prompt. They can give you a budget. And the major UI then dynamically goes into the marketplace, picks the right agents, 
negotiates the budget, and makes a decision based on like which collective you need to form together and which team will function best together. The evaluator comes in on the side and is like, checking on the responses, making sure it's actually valid. If there is credit or blame to be assigned, who that goes to, and then the paymaster takes care of transacting payments based on the production of each agent. Um, so why is this important? Just like teams of people, Agents are much better when they're specialized in their skill sets rather than being focused on doing everything well at the same time. So this allows us to sort of plug and play just like a company, just like a team. When an agent starts not performing to its best ability, you bring in a better agent to do that same functionality rather than having to fix the entire agent if it was like a general purpose agent. So what is needed for agents to succeed? There are a few things. You need agent interoperation, so the language for these agents to talk to each other, which is what our base layer is helping people do. How do you assign credit and blame when there is 15 agents working together and one might hallucinate? How do you understand that? So we're working on a couple of proofs, which proof of contribution here solves that problem, as well as agent selection. Sometimes multiple agents, when you're looking together, which ones work best together as a team? So we've got agent, um, proof of collaboration to help solve that. So how do you select when there's a competitive marketplace? So right now, we have a few agent collectives that are live. We've got one with Filecoin that actually goes live today. Um, we've got a AI data engineer that's running with space and time that does Python, SQL, builds dashboards. And we're launching one with Bondex that allows people to analyze all of the job postings that are available, all of the companies that are working there, make a decision based on whether you want to work with them, whether you want to apply for a job or not. And this is going to be applied vice versa. That's going to help companies decide whether a project, where, whether an applicant is actually fit for their role. So this is basically our entire stack. And you can access it through the UI. The registration, payment components, proof of collaboration works within our base layer. And we believe. Because AI agents are sort of this like uh, the, the stack through which you access or the, the platform through which you access the rest of the stack, compute, dpin, models, all of these we're partnering across the entire industry. So everybody from Nasana, Ionet, Akash, Render, we're working with all of them and Filecoin to sort of access data, compute, and resources. And so that's really how we're functioning at the moment. So, the Filecoin agents are actually live right now, and if you're interested, you can go ahead and sign on for the waitlist, uh, or for the whitelist, and the Filecoin team will be approving groups of people over the next few days, and you'll be able to prompt the agent. And over the next few months, we're planning on rolling out more data within this like platform. So that's it for today. If you feel free to reach out to me, to the Theoric team, we're on X and AI, um, on theoric.ai for our website. And uh, yeah, we're excited to be here. Time for a question. If we have you on stage two years from now, what would you look back as the, what you predict would be the most exciting thing that happened in the terms of AI agents or with Theric over that period of time? In the next two years, I think we're starting to see, we're already starting to see like this adoption phase. A lot of people are excited about like problems AI agents can solve. And for us in two years, we think we're going to reach like this critical mass point when there's going to be 10 different trading agents and 50 different documentation agents. And now developers are competing against each other to make these resources better. And for us, it's about how can you incentivize this, right? Because right now, if you launch something on Hugging Face, you launch something at, under the GPT store, you as a developer have no way to earn. And we think that you know, in two years, developers are going to be launching so many solutions, and they're going to be incentivized by the community to keep making them better. And as these agents sort of collaborate with each other, you're going to see like harder and harder problems get solved. And we as people can take a little bit more of a backseat. And my kind of vision is maybe not in two years, but maybe in like 10, we move towards this like post-scarcity post world because you can delegate a lot of responsibilities to AI agent collectives, and that's gonna be like a huge unlock for people. Awesome. Other questions for Anjali? All right, give it up for Anjali.